In Creo Schematics, you can create an artifact for a predefined cable. In a previous video, I showed how to create the data tables for the cables. In this case, I'm doing a CAT6 cable, and I've got a couple different data sets in here, and they point to member maps, and the member maps point to my individual wires, including my single color wires and my striped wires. Now let's take a look at creating the artifact. Let's close out of the data table explorer. I'm gonna go back to the diagramming tab and we'll go to the catalog explorer. The first thing that I need to do is to create a wire, a fiber that I'm going to use inside of the artifact. Let's go to the blocks drop down. I'll change to fibers. And here are a couple of the different fibers that come with the demo database. In order to create my new one, I will click on this icon to create a new fiber. I will right click on here and go to properties. And for this one, I'm just going to call it my routing wire. Here for the connection, we need to change this. Let's click on the set button. Instead of being connection, we need to change this to the type of wiring wire. And I'll click the OK button and there you see the type in there. And I'm going to add my one of my data tables here. Let's click on select data table. And I'll grab the 22759 data table with my 900 different entries in here and click the OK button. And oops name change over here let me go back and let's hit the apply button that's good and click OK oops I just realized that there are a couple things that are not ready yet for my routing wire let's right click and go to properties and for some reason the type got reset let's change this back to the type of wiring wire and click the OK button and click OK out of here and also I need a shape for the wire so I can right click on the fiber and choose new shape and there we have the sheet for it there we have the shape everything is good out of here now let's create our new group I will go to the type drop down let's change this to groups over here and I decide that you know what I want to create my new group inside of a new folder over here so let's right click on the folder where I want to create my new folder and choose new folder and I'm gonna call this my cat folder let's click the OK button and with the folder still selected now I can I can either right click and choose new item or I could use this icon over here for creating my new group and there you can see the default name that has been given let's go to properties and let me see I'm going to start off by selecting my data table and there's my cat data table let's click the OK button out of there for the type we're going to change this from the default component to connection cable and then click the OK button and let me apply my data set that I want to use this one is going to be for my T568A so I will click the OK button and now let's change the name. I'm going to call this cat T568A. I'm going to make separate groups for the 560A variation and 568B variation. Let's click the OK button out of here. So there I have my new group created. Let's right click on it and choose create our new shape. It brings open the catalog selector for asking what template do I want to use for creating this shape. And there is a new group template that came from the demo database that I used as the basis for creating my design. So I'll click the OK button out of there. And if you want to, you can right click on here and go to sheet parameters if you want to change the name of this. For some reason, I often call these, you know, my, my shapes for it. There's some different parameters in here. You can add additional parameters if you want to, but this is good. I will click the OK button. And now let's hit the open icon so we can define the geometry and cores that we're going to use inside of here. And because my catalog explorer is blocking the sheet, I'm going to close it for a moment. 
And now when we're on the sheet, the first thing I'm going to do is go to the geometry tab. We're going to add in three vertical uh, construction lines. And let's put one over here on the left, one over on the middle, and one on the right. And now that we have our construction lines for defining essentially the extent of our artifact, I will go back to the catalog tab. And from here, we are going to place our different conductors. And so here I've got my routing wire. I will click the OK button. You can see a preview. And I'm going to turn on the grid just for a moment because I just want to make sure that I have them just spaced the same. And again, it's a cat six cable so I need eight of these let's see that's one two three four five six seven and eight that is good at this point I can right click and hold and if you were doing a cable that had a shield hey you could select to add in a shield core but hey cat six doesn't have that so I'm just going to use the exit tool option let's turn off the display of the grid because it really really clutters up the screen and I will deselect everything. So here I have my different fibers on here. Uh, let's say I want to put some different labels on these wires. I can do that. And so, for example, on the first one, I will select it and right click and hold and choose properties. And for this one, if I go to the label tab, uh, we can see that we don't have anything on here. This height's really big. I'll change this to a value of one. And then let's position it in the middle. And the format that I want to use for this one, uh, right now, if I go to my function button, I can grab the name of the container if present. I'll click OK out of that one. And let me move this over to the side. I'll hit the Apply button so you'll see what I end up getting. So here it's using the name of the cable, CAT T568A. That is good. And then I'm going to put in a space over here. And right now, if I hit the Param button, it's only showing me a few of the different parameters that are available. What I am going to do is I am going to cancel out of here real quick and go to the fiber and I'm just going to a, let's click the OK button out of here let's hit the apply button uh, click OK out of here and that way you can see the first label that I have on here let's go back to my catalog explorer and I've got the shape in here let me go to the properties and just make sure that we have the data set applied let's click the OK button out of there and then click OK out of here and then I'm going to close here. Let's close the sheet real quick. And I'm going to go back to the Catalog Explorer and open it back up and close out of here. And now when I go to the properties, here you can see that I've got a bunch more properties defined for this particular conductor. Now when I go to the label button, because I reapplied the data set after having the different cores in here, I have the other additional parameters available. So in this particular case, let's see, I want to add in here the name of the conductor. Let's hit the apply button. And also the wire gauge. Let's hit the apply button. And lastly, the color. And this time I'll just click OK out of here. Let's see if I can make this dialog box a little bigger just so I can see the whole thing here. So I've got name. I want to have a space and a dash and a space. And then after the wire gauge property, I'm going to want AWG and then space dash space and click the OK button. And that way I've got the label that I want on the first wire. Let's now define the labels that I want on the other wires. And I'm doing that by selecting all of these. And then right mouse click and hold and go to properties. And here we are on the label tab. Again, this default height is way too big. And let's position it in the middle. And let's see, in this one, I don't want to have the cat 5, 6 in there. I just want to have some of the different parameters. So let's go to parameters and plug in the name and the wire gauge and the color and click the OK button. And like before, I'm going to just put some spaces and dashes in here. 
let's go over here and space dash space and then after wire gauge I'm going to put in AWG and then space dash space that's good let's click the OK button and now we've got the different labels that we want on the wires uh, next up let's now put in maybe some cable decorations and I'm gonna put in a few and then actually take them out so for example a cat6 cable is actually four pairs of twisted wires so if I wanted to I could select say a couple of these wires over here and then add in a cable decoration if you hold down the right mouse button you can choose select cable decoration and there are 13 different types that you can use and as you select the different ones it'll show you a preview of what you can choose and so for example hey you know what twisted solid maybe I want to use this one so I'll click the OK button and then position this approximately where I want them to be one two three four and about over there and if I want to apply one on the other end let's hit the cable decoration button again and then pick you know approximately over here where I want it to appear oops it's using that same type as before let me use my filter in the lower right hand corner just to make sure that I can select just the decoration and I will choose change type and again I can use that twisted solid and click the OK button let's see let's now add some decorations let me change back to the regular pick icon let's select these two over here and I'm going to add a cable decoration and again let's change to this one and click OK and position this over here and add cable decoration again and for some reason it's kind of a pain that it keeps on defaulting back to the initial one now the weird thing about the cat6 cable is actually it's the two middle ones are also paired up over here so again let's add in a decoration let's change the type and add in another decoration over on the other side of the same type and you know this will actually get kind of ugly so I'm gonna throw these in here and then I'm actually gonna get rid of them but I can select these two over here hey let's throw in our cable decoration let's right click to change the type to the twisted solid and you know it's like I could do this you know but now it's just fine it's getting really too busy and I really don't need all this uh, let's I'm not going to even bother putting it on the same side because I'm going to delete them in a moment. Since this is a Cat6 cable, I really don't need to get into all this information about, you know, which pairs are twisted on the inside. Let's just put an overall decoration for overall solid. That's good. And just put it over here at one end and then add in the same decoration. Overall solid on the other end and let's use this button over here to get rid of these other decorations so yeah throw them in there but I knew I was going to take them out just because again I just they just get too busy all right right mouse click and delete and that is good the very last thing that I need to do in here is to add what's called a datum point you're going to set the datum and that's going to be for uh, what you're going to use for routing the actual cable itself I like to put you know this should really be on this top first instance over there so that is good let's click to close out of the sheet I'll go back to my catalog Explorer and you have this option here display the full sheet but then it just gets too small but here you can see where I have my cat 56 a let's right click on it and choose copy and then go back to the same folder and I'm going to right click on the folder and choose paste and here is the other one let's right click and go to properties and change this one to be my 568B and let's hit the apply button and apply the correct data set let's change this to the 568B data set and I'll click the OK button and apply and so then I can click OK out of here and that way I have my two different cables let's test this by throwing in a couple of connectors and routing it also from the groups type I can choose connectors and 
like I'm looking for my variable connectors or something in here maybe it's under blocks somewhere in here I've got some connectors oh there they are under the bid weight folder and so let's put in a couple of plugs let's use the instance button and let's change the number of ports to eight these are going to be my RJ 45 connectors and I'll hit the apply button so the, here we can see the 8 pin connector right now it's going in from bottom to top I'm going to right click and mirror about the horizontal and that way we have it facing the right uh, direction that we want and let's hold down the right mouse button and this time I'm going to mirror about the vertical and let me just use just trying to say just want to make sure that they line up that looks good click the OK button out of there and then exit out of the tool let's close this and turn off the display of the grid I think the wires line up over there you can see that says null in here but again I don't really care about the labels being incorrect because the properties aren't filled in I'm just putting this in here so I can test my routing and now we'll go to instance group you could also use the catalog Explorer and let's go to wiring cables cat let's try out the 568a click the OK button and route it from there oops they aren't exactly even so let's exit out of the tool and make sure I'm using the regular pick icon I'm just going to grab this one and there we go and so that way you can see how the cable routed and it's got the different names on this one let's select this and go to the properties tab over here right now it's being called C blah 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 I can go to the drop down list over here and change this to free format if I want to manually change the name and maybe I just want to have this called the cat six I don't know one I don't know I'm just making up a name over here click the OK button and that way it updates with the name of the container over here and we can see the other individual instances so that again is how you can create an artifact for a predefined cable just to recap the process real quickly in the catalog Explorer you're going to start off by making sure that you have a fiber that you want to route in there and then you're going to go to your groups and in the groups you are going to create your new item create a shape you're going to open up the shape and add in your vertical construction lines all the individual cores any cable decorations that you want and also the datum and oh yeah since I had data tables I applied the data tables in order to get the properties the way I wanted them to be I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.